Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to talk about 3 Talia tips on roaming and how you can gank better with Talia in general. I'm going to go over the tips very fast right now before we start the game and during the game I will present every tip or a combination of those tips and I will show you how they are useful and why they are useful more importantly. Now, the first tips, uh, the three tips, sorry, are, uh, wait, wait, after this, <laughs> after this, after this, I promise I'll give you the tutorial after this. Okay, I think it's over. So, the main three tips that I will discuss about is, the first one is roaming uh, as Talia with or without ult, so the difference between roaming when you have ult or when you don't have ult, and uh, also the roaming in combination with your jungler or without your jungler, this is the first tip. The second tip will be about plate and gold control, minion control, how to manipulate the waves in such a way that you can actually roam bot without feeling that you lost a lot of gold in the process. And the third tip will be about vision control, how to actually word where to actually word what paths to follow. Remember, if you are red side, and the blue side you can kind of mirror these tips and uh, you can actually create uh, the guide for blue side as well similarities are there in terms of logic just in execution there are some things like where you were when you're blue side or where you were when you're red side and the path that you take towards bot lane uh, i'm not going to discuss matchups today i'm more interested in uh, actually focusing on the guide part on the three tips on roaming and uh, we can actually start the discussion now and this guy annoys me because i cannot peacefully farm while i try to explain it to you now there are two types of roaming for step one the roam with ult and the roam without ult and the roam without ult can be done before level six without a problem uh, and most of the time let's say you get a kill and you still have hp uh, let's say you do something else most of the time it's quite difficult to actually uh, do an early roam without losing yourself some advantage and i don't mean the early roam where you help your jungler i will do that if it's needed and it's mostly recommended when you know you win the trades uh, but i talk about the level three or four bot lane gank every time you can oops gank bot lane do the do the bot lane gank. now we've seen now that there is no blue buff or there might be because, well, but we're interested in wording so that we are covered for the Jarvan. Now, uh, let's say that your jungler doesn't invade. I don't want to count this example, but obviously if your jungler plays like that, you're going to have to push if you can, and you will be able to push in most matchups. But when you push, you should be careful so that you don't get ganked. So right this case, uh, it's very important not to be too far away in the lane. I'm gonna ping that Jarvan might be there. Okay, and this guy is missing. So yeah, this is a case where, okay, Jarvan is stopped rises there this is a case where uh, we're actually able to play safe now because Jarvan we've seen him I'm losing so much CS okay I'm actually winning this boy but I lost CS so it's not worth anyway uh, the first case is your jungler help uh, when you want to help your jungler if it's needed uh, just try to usually push and follow him but this is non bot lane scenario in the bot lane scenario uh, usually it is when you still have hp for a roam or a gank and you can actually roam bot uh, so that would be when your jungler comes and ganks and you win the trade or when you actually get a kill yourself and you still have hp to roam or immediately after recalling after you get the kill because there is some window in which you could roam but that's this these are rare gangs type rare um, roaming types so i recommend to not really do this if you aren't that experienced if you are experienced and you know how to actually roam so that you don't lose too many resources such as xp and uh and well gold that's annoying rise and he has electrocute uh, yeah you could focus on that now here is a good example of rom go 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 and we can wait and we could turn on that rise we need to secure this okay we 
need to secure this for our jungler. So this is a good example of what to do in this scenario. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, go. Go, go, go. We are higher level. Don't have mana now. Okay. And he used Ghost at the last second and escaped. Th this is an example of a good roam. Because we secured uh, we secured the buff, our botlane understood and helped us on that matter. But sometimes your botlane will not understand. I don't know what Kane is doing. I cannot really watch. Hopefully. Yeah, he just did it. Well, that was a bad example from him because he suicided. But in general, this is a good example of a trade off or for early roam. And if we got the kill there on Jarman, we could transition to bot lane. But we should have been careful now, if their bot lane would have come and our bot lane did not, we could have died there and it would have been a bad roam. Now, that's the first thing. The second thing is to get a vision word whenever you're 6 lab. Like, uh, talking about the vision part now, the third tip, uh, try to play around vision, try to play around the stuff that matters. Because if you're grown bot and they see you, you just waste a lot of time in the matter of going bot and this is in combination with the first tip as well so another small little tip or well fact is that when you hit level 6 usually exactly in that moment their bot lane will be lower level than you so you have the surprise advantage maybe if you go bot if you pretend to go bot and quickly roam if the lane is pushed and the enemy does not have a champion that can push like this rise like very fast you can actually instantly go bot and get a surprise gank if they are fighting. If they are recalling, there is no point in going there. And this rise goes into, into hiding very often, so that is doing a good thing. Now, I did not have enough gold for a vision word because I had enough money for the lost chapter. But in general, you should get vision words as often as you can. And this is just a simple... This is just a simple lane for this time being, and he will outscale me. Uh, but I know now that he has no flash, and I can actually play more aggressively. Uh, he has no flash, and I also can go bot, uh, because I clean up this vision world right here. This, oh, I did not. Never mind. And I could just take this vision world then. And they have to back off because they don't know where I am, and now that I show up mid, they know. So... <laughs> I could just uh, wait for him to push. Okay, we clear the cannon wave. Okay, I've seen that word. There is a word there. And Rise is missing, so I'm gonna ping that. He's doing a bad roll. Yep. So when this happens, it's in our advantage because we can just we can just go here, and we can just do this, clear the wave. Well, miss some CS, but in general, we need, we need buy CS. And now we can expect a rise to be here because we see Jarvan. And if he does this, I could actually fight him because I have Ignite and he does not. Okay, so we do this. And we still do this. Okay, not a problem. I cornered him here. See? How simple that was. And now that we killed him, we have an opportunity to roam next time. So we can just push this way very fast. So that we clash the minions into the tower. And we can go roaming. He will also lose CS here. And this is in combination with the second tip. Uh, and we also don't risk any plates. So you have to consider the plate factor. After minute 14, when plates go away, uh, we're not really interested. But this case, we can actually get a plate. So see, this is a very good case for us, because if we get the plate, we get some gold in advantage for us, for our cause, and we can go back now. Uh, this is a very good opportunity, because CS now resets at mid lane. It resets perfectly at mid lane. And we could try a roam bot, but as we've seen, our uh, bot lane just died, so that's actually not that optimal for us, but we can get a vision word for the next roam, and we can ult bot for the next roam. And here he, will, here he will not have enough time to actually uh, get the plate, as far as I am concerned. Or if he does, he will 
uh, position himself as such so that this bard has time to actually reach him. Okay, that was a very bad. Uh, okay, coming, coming. Oh my god. I lost some seals there. That's clear. But, yeah, that was a pretty bad roam. But I don't think he got the plate there. I think the minions got it, so he lost 160 gold. And the second tip usually is to. Oops, there's a pike. But we got the kill. Uh, okay. Take this. Take this. Now, they might get some plates now. Usually roaming when there is an infernal... This is a great opportunity to actually get something useful for the team. And we don't lose that much CS there. Uh, normally you should focus on roaming for those drakes. So yeah. Remi reminding again. Remembering the old tips that we said. First tip types of roaming with your jungle or without we still didn't do any ult roams this game but uh, normally well I did some roams that were not bot when I talk about roams I usually talk about bot roams uh, and now we don't have flash so we have to play more defensively because a Jarvan ult will uh, catch us and might kill us uh, but now our jungler is around so we, we're not that afraid but and he's also pushing so we're good and I think he started okay he's doing nothing there uh, I have my old tab now and we can combine the first tip, the second tip and the third tip now because we have vision here, so they have no vision control, the rise is going there so we have a safety net in knowing where that is, and we can go bot because Ash also has her cooldowns up, go, 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 go. And that was a perfect bar follow up. Extremely good follow-up. I don't think Pike dies though. Okay, he died. And for some reason my bot lane didn't go back, but still good because we got plates here. I think that he's there. I got the advantage for my bot lane, which was ultimately the goal. Normally some good players will know to recall there or to back off. I had no way to follow under the tower a dive. And also this gene is far behind the Kyle, so we would have a 3 versus 3. That's not in our favor, but on bot lane it is, so play around your winning lanes. And I could go there and do a 1 versus 2 maybe, or I could not. There is no point to go there. And here is another tip, if you have your ult up and you see Jarvan or whoever has the herald channeling up, you can actually throw the ult to stop the actual herald. Or you can pretend you backed off and you wait to see a channel on the herald. And you could then cast it. So yeah, that's uh, an important tip to play around. Okay. They were waiting him at red buff. So I'm gonna ward here. And they got killed some bot lane apparently. And now I believe... Now I believe Jarvan goes top. But I cannot go there back. Back off. Back off. And Ash is winning, Jarvan is playing top side and Ryze is missing. So there is an Ash that has no mana. Okay, I'm gonna get this. So yeah, as you can see, all my uh, all my goals succeeded this game besides Ryze doing some uh, some roaming. But we did get first tower on bot lane because of my roaming, even though uh, that gene is quite tinting. And we're still good with this. And yeah, they massively inted now. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. This guy is almost did an outplay there. Okay. I don't think I still have time. Okay, never mind. Just focusing on the tower. What is this guy doing? Okay, so I'm gonna leave this wave like this so he can actually get some ah, no I'm gonna miss the cannon there, I have to recall. But Jin should have gone mid at this point. That pike is annoying, I'll give you that. But we did everything right at this point. So we're actually kinda winning. And now, yeah, he's dead. 
See, see what is our bot lane doing if you played around the winning lane a bit. Normally you should focus on the bot lane, especially, especially if you have a Xayah or a Kai'Sa because they are the strongest ADCs. But even if they are winning with any ADC, you should just play around them because they are two players. You are one player, tell your juggler to play around it, ignore top if two players are winning top. Then you're certainly gonna win the rest if your bot lane is winning, so focus on that. So as you can see, I lost only one plate, but technically did not lose it. Technically. And now we see Jarvan, and we're not actually threatened by him. And I did a mistake there. Okay. He waited a bit much there. Okay, good. Even though I died, yeah, that Kyle will destroy now. Okay, back off, back off. I think they can actually 2 versus 3 them. Ah, it's good, it's good. I don't really understand that Jin, but in rest... Yeah, no, nah, he should have stayed top, I don't know why he's here. He does not know really that well the macro, but in general we're doing fine. Okay, now we ping to go for that Baron. As you can see, my vision ward is still up, still there, I think it's the same one. And that Jin will certainly die now, because he's not that ahead and there is a pike back off. What are you doing? You're not going to kill her. Yeah, he's basically trolling at this point. But the point stands, so focus on the f first, second and three, the third tip that I gave you. And now we're going here because Kyle is actually very behind. And we can follow up on this one. Only Kyle is fed this game, so we can actually win by ignoring her as much as we can, because she usually stays to the silent. Now with a chain CC, that Kyle doesn't do anything. I do want here though a Bard play. And by doing this, we can actually, we actually can take this tower. There is a Jarvan that's coming. So we have to be careful to that. This guy mispositioned. Oh, never mind. Ash mispositioned. But we're good. We're still good. still dead here and somehow Kyle is still alive uh, that top laner is just sad but yeah no I'm not going to you get the main points we're going to do another recap very fast so focus on what focus on roaming with or without your jungler with or without your ult whenever necessary then take into account the minions that you have on the mid lane basically the wave state and then take into account another thing, another important thing, wait, I want this. Actually, I want to sell the potion and go for Rabadons. And then take into account the vision, so basically plates, vision and capability of roaming. These are the three tenets of roaming. Every time you roam, you have to understand that if it's a good time to roam, if you have the vision control that you need, or if you'll be spotted, which you can easily see oh my god by uh, using proper means of vision control and this guy just trolled me okay hit him jesus what are you doing i'm going on that side okay baron 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 So yeah, some of those three things 
and then you get a pretty good pretty good way to actually play this game. Can you not do that? This guy into it again. Why why do you why do you don't even listen to me? Can someone listen to me and come here for Christ's sake? There are no words. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, there is a word there, but not here. Okay, now there is a word here. What are you doing? But yeah, in general the tips are that. I really want to know how this game will end and I will keep playing it. I'm sorry if it bores you, but it's quite interesting because I'm actually decent in CS, so a good WEQ combo on on their Kyle will actually win us the game, but they seem to get caught so much irresponsibly. Can you not engage without me? Just, just push. This is bad. Very bad. But we get the kill on Cinder there. Oh my god. This guy. They inted. Why why would you even ult that? Well go Baron, 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 Bart, don't These guys have no idea of macro control, that's clear. If I'm there then obviously uh, I'm going there and Bart just strolled here. I could defend. Okay, and now they've seen you. Oh my god, okay. And that rice did that, so I guess it's fair. But I think we will win this game actually if we kill that Kyle again. And I'm going to get his jungle. And it's pretty fine for me. This guy will die again. There. So I guess the Rome part focuses on the early game in general, so as I predicted, he died immediately after I predicted it. And they can actually go Baron now. And they should. I don't know why, why he's there. I guess I have to steal it. Okay, that's just stupid. Get the Baron, I got the Baron. Okay, so this is how you play. doing I mean she spent so much time there and now we have gold for our rabbits see how well things go when you bards ults and the ash ults but yeah <laughs> that's how you turn the game around the good play like that but you can see how impactful rise is now even though he didn't do much in the whole part of the game. And you can see my kill participation is actually close to the high, I mean the third high as well, because Botlane participated in so much kills. Why did you randomly turn to joke me? Another interesting tip is that the thing that you can do in mid to late game is to go somewhere deep. Okay, never mind. Or to ult something like this. Get the kill. And 
shots just kill me. Or I get a double kill. Bard, you just saved him. And this guy disconnected. This guy is AFK, what is this? What are the tips on roaming? These are the general outline guidelines that I presented in this video, but normally you should have a hard feeling when to roam. This guy will just die. Wait. Can you back off? Can you help me with this Jarvan, please? Oh, I'm alive. Alive and well. Okay. I can actually get some... I wasted so much mana there. Nothing. Okay, that's the Syndra. But yeah, I misplayed and she's dead too. Ah, it's a fiesta. I'm gonna close the video now or now. I'm gonna keep the whole game. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's very intense for a <laughs> game with that many mistakes. I'll go for this so that I cannot heal that much. Okay. And you two got caught here. Wow, that's a nice that's a nice bar portal. Same problem here that we had before, even though we have a very fat cane. We should have won the game a lot of many seconds ago with this Ash and Cane, but well. This is just hilarious though. That guy just steals himself over and over. <laughs> And I fucked that one up. <laughs> that was the, that was my free win there, my free win ticket. But he patted so weird, Jesus. That's the thing I hate about Tulia. You don't have a press one button and win. As a Malzahar, am I gonna get hit like that? Never mind. Okay, that goes down. Now we can actually go for this. This is an int. 
interesting siege. Okay, they are patting towards Baron, and we are patting towards them, obviously. I would have gone normally for Void stuff here, but there is no need besides the besides the Jarvans, so I think Zonia is a better option or even relies to, to the amount of you know, range I need to keep from them. But yeah, we should first create some vision zones. For some reason, Bard is there. <laughs> okay. That's a beautiful W. What is this? Yeah, we just won here. This guy actually kills me here. And we won. Yeah, that was it. But we don't have minions. So this is a general guide on jungling, on maybe these are the three tips on roaming, so those are the general guidelines that you should follow, and this was a very long game. Uh, I, well, I don't want to cut these videos because I really want you to see how I actually do in this context, but yeah, the first part of the video is the most important, it's just a random game that I threw up on the screen, so yeah. But thanks for watching and follow these steps to actually get better at roaming. And see you next time, guys. Goodbye.